she was attached to the army and she was out uh, doing raids in houses. And while she was out doing that, uh, vehicles in her convoy were hit by IEDs, which spooked her a little bit. And then as they started going into the buildings, the army was throwing flashbangs and using door poppers, which messed her up to the point where she was terrified of any loud noises. And she became scared of people because all those loud noises were associated with the people. The best that they could come up with was PTSD. Because, I mean, she, she, she sold all the symptoms and she had all the signs. She was terrified of everybody. And, and I mean, it was obviously a condition that led her down that road. Before she went, she was a lot more outgoing. See, I mean, she was still a young puppy, so she had a lot more of the puppy tendencies. And when she came back, she would go, and she, you bring her, you try to go into a building and she'd lock up all four feet and try to prevent herself from going into the building. When she went in the building, she'd tuck her ears, kind of slink along the floor. She'd tuck her tail up underneath of her. And if anybody else was in the room, she would go hide underneath a desk or go hide in a cage or go away into a corner where nobody else could see her. And more or less, she had she withdrawn from society. Over the past two and a half months, absolutely. I see huge changes. I can, I, can, I can walk her around vehicles, I can walk her around tractor trailers without her um, cement trucks making noise. And she's just, she'll, she'll walk right around and not be bothered. Yeah. All right. Oh, good girls. Um, with dogs and cats, I don't know that I've ever seen anything where the symptoms were delayed in onset like that, um, and then the animal became really fearful. But certainly it's possible. I think we need more study to really kind of uh, figure out what's going on with the animals.